hi so guess what finally finally i got a second multi-needle it is the same Wicoma em1010 uh i needed a second machine um i knew i was gonna have two multi-needle machines i just didn't know what i was gonna go with i did end up getting the same one for a few reasons um number one i love this machine i like this machine i'm comfortable with this machine it gets the job done and yeah um i almost did upgrade to a bigger sewing field more needles um but in the end my husband changed my mind um i almost went with the melco and i almost got the 15 needle that ricoma offers but in the end i got the same machine why because it's more expensive the um to upgrade to those machines they were more expensive with melco it didn't work out maybe my third machine i can get a melco or maybe i'll get the 15 needle that ricoma has i don't know yet but yeah um I'm pretty much gonna be doing the same work that I do now, which is the kids shirts and the um, outfits. I don't necessarily embroider big, big things for me to be like, okay, I need a bigger, bigger sewing field. So, you know, this, the, this one is gonna help me do the same that I'm doing right now. So um, I always use pretty much on the, for everything use the 8x9 mighty hoop and if i ever need to embroider something bigger the 8x12 hoop that came with this machine has always been big enough so necessarily for me to upgrade just to get a bigger sewing field i don't need a bigger sewing field right now maybe in the future if i expand or if i want to offer bigger things or something maybe i would um, as far as the needles, every design that I have, it's 10 colors or less. I never really have to like stop and put in more color. So that's also like another reason why I, like I'm, I'm very comfortable with this machine. I'm very comfortable, I'm very happy. It gets the job done. And you know, why, why add those extra 5,000 in my bill just, because I want to spoil myself pretty much. Um, but don't get me wrong, I do want a, I do want to upgrade. I do want more needles. I do want the bigger sewing field just because, just to say I have it pretty much. Um, but yeah, that's ultimately in the end, that's what it came down to. I, I almost, I almost got the Melco. I was on the phone with them and everything. Um, it didn't work out and maybe you know it was for the best that it didn't work out at this time i don't know things happen for a reason so um it's a long story why it didn't work out um i don't want to get into it um but uh yes this is the new member of my company my company shop <laughs> and yeah let me show you the hoop that um So this is the, the largest hoop that it comes with for the um, the EM1010. This is a eight by 12. So see if I ever need needed to do um, like, I don't know, maybe like a bigger design or wider design. This has, I've used this before and it's, 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 it, it, it suffice, you know? Um, So yeah, there was no need for me, at least at this time, to upgrade. Um, like I said, it is a $5,000 difference. So I just really needed a machine to get here and help me get orders out the door. So my husband was right, thank God. So yes, hopefully 
uh, this one's paid off i paid this one off in under a year i got it in april last year and i paid it off in january so under a year i paid this one off um it helped my shop like um get you know get orders faster and um yeah it, it it has helped me a lot i feel like this one made this one possible well and my tutus of course um but uh yeah uh i i i if i was to do it all over again um i would do everything the same all over again get this one first i'm happy with this one i have already been working on it and it, it's been work it's been working just fine just like this one and i'm happy with my decision like i said hopefully if if i pay this one off as fast as this one i want to get a third machine i feel like it's an addiction you know um you get one and you want another and you want another um but we'll see i will see where my shop goes in this year and i don't know i don't know we'll see what i get next i don't know if i'll get the melco i don't know if i'll get the recoma i don't know i don't know We'll see um i don't want to plan anything because last time i did the whole covid happened and everything went to crap <laughs> so um, yeah what else did i want to say um that's it pretty much um it does do hats uh it comes with that the hat attachment and all that but i'm not interested in making hats or anything like that so um yeah that's 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 why i decided to get a twin machine um so i did record some videos of me uh, rec i recorded it working like as soon as it got here uh i not unpack it unboxing it or anything but just it you know so you guys can see that it works good because i know like that there's like a lot of mixed reviews about recoma out there and i'm not like sponsored or anything but i like my machines i like my machines um the, the, i've never had to call customer service on this machine never one i'm lying one time but that's because the power went out and the machine was working and obviously it stopped and the needle was down and when the power came back on like i was i had turned it off from the back and i was too scared to turn the machine back on because the head moves when you turn it on and the needle was down so i was like um yeah i had to call and be like i don't know what to do so it was like a five minute fix that's the only time i've ever had to call customer service for this machine um and this one i've been having it for like a week and a half and it's been working just the same as this one no problems no issues everything's been smooth sailing for me um and, and yeah oh my it just all right so i'm gonna insert those clips of the machine working and also i did record how i package my orders um on the last video people were asking me how i package them so i did record that and i'll insert that in this video as well so i'll see you guys in a bit okay so here's the new machine next to my older machine they are a bit different i've noticed when i plugged it up and i was like okay let's you know work and i was uh picking my hoop there is look at uh, look at all these hoop options i'm not sure what this is what this is and what this i'm thinking it's for flat uh no what are they called uh, the fast frames i'm thinking i don't know i don't know i don't know this one doesn't have it Look, i'll show you this is what that looks like and then i've also noticed 
noticed that okay you see this little hook right here for the plates okay this one doesn't have that i don't know in my opinion it's better that it doesn't have it because sometimes this little plate will be will accidentally be on top of here and then it's not like hugging the thread and well that's the tension <laughs> so okay let me exit out of here turn on my light i always pick needle one for tracing and then And then here's where I pick all my colors. So I'm gonna pick my colors, set everything. I think I have all the colors. I just need to put a skin tone in there. So I'm gonna change that yellow for skin. Yeah. And I'll be back, I need to set my colors. Okay, I'm ready to go. Um, I have my needle centered to the center of the hoop. And so I'm gonna trace making sure it fits inside the hoop I'm ready to hit start This one is from Micro World, Micro World, I don't know how you pronounce it, um, but I get vinyl from there and from Kids Custom Designs and from, there's another website too, um, Glitterbug Fairy, I think it's called, I'll put them all at the bottom. Um,
Alright guys, so here's how I package my orders. Um, these boxes are from the USPS. They're free. You can just order them online from the USPS.com. Um, here's the number if you want to look that up. And the measurements are 12 by 12 by 8. That's what I use to ship the tutus. I used to use the shoebox one, but since I do my tutus so fluffy they i feel like they were getting wrinkled so i got this bigger box instead um this is not a flat rate box okay do not get flat rate box for tutus these are so light you don't have to get flat rate boxes um and this size is like perfect so i put in tissue paper which you can get anywhere and i used to put them inside a bag but i was having the same issue with them getting wrinkled so i just line it with tissue paper and i just throw the shirt in there and <clears throat> i got lucky i found all like it was like a thousand of these little thank you cards at a garage sale for 50 cents <laughs> so i throw some of that in there and in the back i just write or i will um print whatever message people put for the gift message or i would just print please leave a review or you know whatever um so i throw that in there and then my tutu i will put it in upside down just so that my ribbon doesn't flip when I put it in there. You'll see in a minute. So I put in the shirt first, then the little thanks um, card, and then flip my tutu in there just like that. That way all the ribbon stays nice and neat like that. And then just line it one more time with the tissue paper. And that's all I do. Um, when I close the box, I do seal every corner with tape just so that, you know, water doesn't get in there just in case. And that's pretty much it. That's all I do for the tutus. And so here I'm gonna tape everything together, put tape along the edge of the box just in case. Um, I've never had any issues or complaint about how I package the orders or the tutus have never gotten their damage so this is all I do I just seal the box the corners that you see I put tape along the edges um, that's pretty much it so that's it for this video guys I hope you liked it um, don't forget to like it subscribe if you want <laughs> and i'll see you guys in the next video which i don't know what i'm gonna record i'm running out of ideas so please let me know what you would like to see um so yeah i'll see you guys in the next one bye